Hey everyone, another playtime video today and we will be checking out this color, Hematite Genuine, which I have to say I only used a little bit of it, but I think I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> um, it reminds me too much of the Lunar Black. So we'll see how it performs today and maybe compare it to other similar um, paints in my collection. Uh, please like this video, leave a comment. It really helps me out. It helps YouTube send my videos to new people and uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Let's get painting. Let's get straight to the bottom line. I had some issues with this paint and the way it performs reminds me of the first color I reviewed in the series, Lunar Earth. That And in the way that you can see, first of all, how streaky it is. And it doesn't have a lot of what I call, in what I'm guessing is very unprofessional manner, a base color. I really feel it has mostly granulations which means that it does make for interesting mixtures and that's where I think it probably shines the most. I don't think I would use it on my own. So maybe if you enjoy kind of pre-mixing your own colors and having them in a pan, I think this would be interesting. I do like some of the mixtures, but basically what I see is that it adds to other colors a lot of kind of b black granulation and just a little bit tones them down unless you use it obviously very heavily. Um, the other, it most reminds me of Lunar Black, but I prefer Lunar Black. It's a little bit more intense and just has kind of a smoother application than the hematite. I definitely think it's a personal preference. And again, I think with all these granulating colors, I think they work really, really well when you're trying to create texture. So rocks, urban stuff, <laughs> urban landscape, that sort of thing, you know, areas that have like concrete um all these kind of surfaces that have a lot of texture, I think this is a really great way of achieving that with kind of very little effort on our part. Um, I don't really feel the need to use this paint right away. I think I will use first my Lunar Black. I only have a small tube of my Lunar Black and also a small tube of this one. So I'll probably get to that after I finish my Lunar Black and see how it works for me. It does make interesting mixes. There's nothing to say about it, but I don't know if it's attractive enough <laughs> to make it into, you know, my more limited palettes. So I don't know. You can see, you can see how you kind of, it, it just adds that granulation. And of course, the more you add, the more muted and kind of grayish blackish the color becomes. So this is really a matter of personal preference, I would say. Again, I personally prefer these these kind of like super granulating colors when I mix them with my more opaque pastel type of paints. So I'm talking about colors like buff titanium, Naples yellow, even um, gray titanium. I feel those mixtures really look interesting and they have that very kind of muddy textured, that's Ella, <laughs> that's Ella's hand, <laughs> look to them. So I think, you know, you can see now for yourself, now I'm mixing it with Naples yellow. Actually, it almost has a green tint to it and these I find a bit more interesting when I kind of mix it with my more vibrant transparent colors it just it gives me something that I personally am not a huge fan of so 
you'll be able to see everything in these samples. I, I did actually like the mixtures I got with quinacridone gold. That's what I'm doing now. But yeah, again, I don't know. I'm not in love. And because I have so many colors, I really need to narrow down my options. And for now, I think I will be using similar colors that I'm more attracted to. And that's the lunar black that I already mentioned and also my new gray from Daniel Smith, the um, Joseph Z neutral gray. Because that one is also, I really like it. It's not as intensely granulating as this one, but I, I really like how it looks when it's super dark and then also when it's lighter. It's a beautiful color. I have a video dedicated to those shades that I picked up. So if you're interested in that, I will link you to it. And uh, I'm going to be taking those two with me, those other two that I mentioned. And poor little hematite is going to stay home for this one. So here again, you can you can see what I mean, that intense granulation, but you really have to add a lot to kind of change the base color. These are mixtures with quinacridone rose. And now I'm going to mix it with quinacridone coral. This was actually also kind of pretty, but I think I can get very similar effects with other paints that I prefer how they mix across the board. So I'm not going to add a paint to a limited palette just because I like, you know, one or two of the mixtures. Uh, I just find the other ones nicer. So yeah, you can't win them all. I did, you know, before I picked up these four tubes, as I said, it is an investment. I did look in my dot card. I have a dot card for years and I consult it every time before I purchase a Daniel Smith paint. And I don't know, the hematite I have on the dot card just looked more interesting. It didn't look as black. It looked a little black bit like a tad warmer on my personal dot card that I got and it has more of like a, a grayish base color so I thought it would be different than my lunar black but it's not different enough also actually the tube of the paint has it's not like a black color it has more of a, like a brownish like a really deep deep grayish brownish color at the top of the tube and Daniel Smith does that they have like the colors on the tubes of course these things are not 100% accurate but if you picked up the tube in the store you wouldn't think this was just black granulation I think you would with like lunar black but not with this so here you can see the mixtures with the turquoises and as I said you can see with cobalt teal it's like a lighter more opaque color that's to me more appealing than something like the Helio Turquoise. But I do think you could, I, I think some people would like it. It's not that the paint is not nice. It's just, I prefer others. So we're kind of going around in circles and I'm repeating myself, but yeah, there you go. Since I can't find too many great things to say about this paint, we're just going to hurry through some more of the mixes. You can see here how it mixes with Lunar Earth. It's actually quite nice. And now with the Lunar Red Rock, which are the two previous paints that I explored in this mini series. I just want to emphasize the point that this video is, you know, it has two purposes. One is to really show you what these paints can do because it's fun and I also learn as I paint and I really, really want to help people save their money or spend their money wisely if possible. So hopefully it is helpful to you. But also this is so much about personal preference. So 
please, if you have this paint and you adore it and you think it's amazing and beautiful, that's fantastic. It's all about what you like, what works for you. I'm just showing you how it performs and, you know, explaining why I don't like certain thing. It's very much like makeup or something. Not everything will work for everyone. It really depends what you want from your products. So here's a quick sampling of Lunar Black. You can see it's just a lot smoother. And this beautiful Joseph Z neutral gray, which I just love how intense it can be. And then also in lighter washes, it's beautiful. So here we have some close-ups. I think you can see what I'm talking about when I say it just adds that black granulation and if you like that then maybe this is a paint you should consider getting this is the close-up again it just looks different than the tube suggests than i swatched in my dot card so i don't know if i don't know what's going on here if that's the formula if i got a dud one if there's variations or maybe the dot card is a bit outdated. I have no idea. But here you can also see Lunar Black, which is my choice for a very granulating black color. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you again in another one soon. Bye.